and welcome back to my channel for the very first movie review of 2022 as well as my first review in almost three years. What better movie to review than the new Scream, Scream 5, which is just called Scream, which is confusing because the original Scream is also called Scream, and now just thinking about it makes my head hurt completely. So this whole week, I had binged the entire Scream series. I had actually only seen the first. I had never seen the sequels before. And I could tell you that I liked all of them. The third one's okay. It has its moments. But I think the first one, the second one, and the fourth one are legit very good films. And the good thing about Scream is that it knows it's ridiculous. It knows it's intense at the same time. It makes fun of all these horror tropes. It's very self-aware. And that's the case with this new installment. I had a great time with it. And I shouldn't have been surprised. Although I was a little skeptical because Wes Craven wasn't directing it. He unfortunately left this world a few years back. And we got the directors of Ready or Not to come onto this project. And I was a big fan of that film. I really had a great time with it. You go into this movie to be entertained. You go into this movie to hopefully have some really interesting scares and kills. And you get that with this film. And the interesting thing about this particular Scream was that it touches upon how there's so many reboots happening now in Hollywood that also act as sequels to films. They bring up films like Halloween, of course, uh, Ghostbusters. They even bring up Star Wars. I acknowledge that as well and how it has to like stay fresh to the fans while also incorporating stuff that's new. But my favorite aspect of this movie is that it touches upon toxic fandom, which has been a very apparent thing these past few years. The last time we were in the Scream universe, social media was starting to make its significant rise and fans weren't as toxic as they are now. I mean, you look at all these big budget franchises and how the fans are just so brutal towards everyone and so like, Ugh, you don't like it, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. They acknowledge that and scream and it feels very relevant <laughs> to what goes on today and that's the beautiful thing about all these scream films. They managed to find a way to tackle a topic that feels relevant to when they make the movie and they present it in a way that is so self-aware and so clever and so fresh. And yet it doesn't feel really annoying. Now, I have to get this out of the way when talking about the new Scream. I thought the new actors in this film were really excellent, especially Marissa Beretta and Jenna Ortega. I thought they were incredible in this movie. I thought they did a terrific job together and separately. I think they crushed him. Melissa Beretta was so good in In the Heights that I was really excited to see what else she was gonna do. And when I heard she was gonna be one of the leads of the new Scream movie, I was like, I'm very excited to see the Cypher. And I thought she did an incredible job. Same with Jenna Ortega. Dude, I cannot wait to see her play Wednesday Adams. I'm so excited to see her take on that character. And everyone else does a really great job. They look like they're having fun with the material. Their banter with one another is great. And most of these people I've seen in things on TV and movies. I mean, Jack Quaid is on The Boys. Dylan Minnette was on 13 Reasons Why. Mason Golden, he's on Love, Victor. And one of the girls, I forgot her name. Also, it's midnight when I'm recording this, so I'm like really exhausted. But I mean, what can you do? <laughs> what is her name? Mikey Madison? I want to see more from her because I like when she's in creepy stuff because she has that creepy look to her and she knocked it out of the park. Everyone did great. And then the OG cast, Courtney Cox, Nev Campbell, and David Arquette, you come to this movie to not just get a gist of who these new characters are you're really there to see these og legacy characters that have been with the franchise since the beginning over 25 years ago some of them have less screen time than others but all three of them crushed it they all jumped back into their roles and again they looked like they were having the time of their lives making this movie and you could see that through the actors performances they're having fun with the material but they're also given genuinely great performances the kills dude and i'm not a big horror guy but I, I love ghostface so much like ghostface isn't someone that could do like flying and like cool little effects or anything ghostface is human 
And I kind of like that aspect of him, of how he's very vulnerable and very easy to fight off, even though in reality he's not. But I just love that so much. I feel like I'm rambling, but I really had a great time with this film. There are a few moments that drag in the second act, and I did find certain aspects, without spoiling anything, to be a bit predictable. With that being said, though, this is an absolutely fun time at the movies you're gonna go with your friends your significant other your family members go enjoy yourself this is a great first movie for 2022 i have not seen the 355 yet but this is the first really good movie to come out in 2022 and since we're only in the second week of the year that's an impressive accomplishment i must say so myself i thought it was entertaining i thought it was clever i thought it was a really great installment to the series and i swear to Christ. If they make more Scream movies after this, I'm honestly going to be pissed off because even though I thought Scream 4 was a good conclusion to the story, I'm okay with this also being the conclusion to the story. I think this wraps up everything very nicely and I hope there's no more after this. It was a beautiful love letter to Wes Craven's Scream films. It was a beautiful homage to his stuff as well. I think the directors did a fantastic job with this film. The actors did great. The kills were fun. So I really enjoyed the new Scream, Scream 5, Scream 2022, 5 Cream, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to give it 4 stars out of 5. I really enjoyed this movie, and I'm sure you guys will as well. So guys, tell me down below your favorite film in the Scream franchise. Tell me down below what you thought of the new Scream. If you're interested in sticking around and watching more content, hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification icon to never miss a video. Guys, I really, really appreciate you guys watching this review. Thank you guys so much, seriously, for checking this out, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you